Happy Saturday, everyone. It's the Saturday of our third week in day 22. And today we're going to read a story you probably know, Jesus Walking on Water. Soon it would be night. Go, go back to the boat now, Jesus told his disciples, and head back across the lake. I'll say goodbye to all the people here. After the disciples rode away and Jesus sent the crowd home, he climbed up the mountainside by himself to pray. When it was dark, Jesus was still praying. The disciples were a long way from land, but Jesus could see they were having trouble. A strong wind blew against the boat and made it hard for them to row. Jesus prayed a little longer. Then he climbed down the mountain and went to join his disciples. But Jesus didn't go in a boat. He walked on the water. The disciples saw Jesus coming toward them, but they didn't know it was him. Look, a ghost, they cried out. Have courage, Jesus called to them. I am with you. Don't be afraid. Peter, one of the disciples, said, Lord, if it is you, tell me to walk to you on the water. Jesus smiled. Come then, Peter, he said. Peter climbed up on the side of the boat. Then he climbed down and stepped onto the water. Would he sink? No. Peter kept his eyes on Jesus and started walking toward him on the water. One step, two steps, three steps, four. But then Peter looked away from Jesus and looked at all the waves instead. And he felt afraid and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus reached out his hand and pulled Peter up. Oh, Peter, he said, your faith is small. Why did you doubt? Together, they got into the boat. So Jesus was walking on water. Can you do that? And then Peter did it too. Let's see what the devotion says. Lord Jesus, I want to follow you, but sometimes you seem to walk in the strangest places. Like the time you came walking on the water right up to the boat where you frightened your disciples and they didn't know what to think. No, it wasn't a ghost. It was really you. When, Jesus, when Peter tried to follow you there, he got frightened by the wind and waves. I think I would have too. But you were there, yes, even there in that strange and fearful place to reach out your hand and hold Peter fast. I know that you are holding me too. Amen. And today we say, Savior, I cross my heart and follow wherever. We need to make sure we keep our eyes on Jesus. And today, I want you to simply go for a walk. You can't walk on water, but I want you to go for a walk sometime today or this weekend outside. You can even play follow the leader. All right. I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.